okay <clears throat> where to start right this shit is crazy I've sat here trying to figure out exactly how you approach this subject from the jump after having been looking at this subject for several years <clears throat> it's kinda of hard to trace back where you first got that inclination to give it any attention right flat earth I haven't said enough already do I have to elaborate anymore what makes this subject so fucking crazy to me and what may make me different than most people who have considered this subject is that the fact of the matter is I just so happen to be a person who has always been fascinated by globes same way as your parents used to tell you don't push on those buttons because you see some of the buttons that you just gotta push or there's a piano and you want to run over into it and hit the keys that's the way I felt around globes constantly around me until my adult life well not even into my adult life early adolescence I started collecting globes then when I got older I started collecting more odd ones, little ones, big ones, antique, I mean name it so if there's any proponent on this subject that should be in favor of the globe fucking model it should be me however two years or so ago I'm doing my surf through the internet like everybody else I'm dancing around on YouTube checking videos out feeling connected and shit and all of a sudden this topic comes up and at first when I looked at the shit it took me back 30 plus years to sitting in the classroom with the teachers who are supposed to be building the knowledge base of our society by telling us what is real and what ain't you used to always point at the ironic understanding of older people or past times when they thought that the world was flat and that how could the world be flat because if it was you just sell right off the edge and sitting there in class I'm like yeah that's stupid man you know I'm, I'm that makes no sense okay to fast forward with me dancing around on YouTube and me seeing this subject you can already begin where this shit, think about where I was when I began this process completely under the understanding that where we lived was a globe round in every direction so I say you know what I'm gonna need a laugh I'm gonna smile these must be some dumbass people they must be off the rock they must be fucking crazy I mean they whole planet knows that we're on a round sphere right this is common knowledge it's been proven fucking years ago so I click on the video and if I'm not wrong more than likely it was Eric Dubé so shots out to Eric Dubé and so I say, you know what, I'm going to entertain this subject just, just so I can see the ridiculousness of it, right? So I watched the video. And throughout the video, it made a few points and made me pause. I said, hold up, wait a minute. That shit makes sense. And not only does it make sense, it better explains the shit that doesn't make sense in the globe model. But still... I'm under the understanding that I've already accepted years ago that we're on a globe. But I'm like, oh, those must be fake. They must be grasping for straws. They have the edge trying to hold on to anything. They're making shit up to put on YouTube so they can get views, right? So let me go into this a little bit further and try to find out if that has any credence at all. So that's exactly what I've been doing for the last two years. Now, let's go back to when I first started this shit again, which was basically what we were just a second ago. From the moment I first seen some of the proofs and some of the things that didn't make sense, it, it made you go, wait a minute, 
on the globe that shit really wouldn't work. From the moment that shit started, for like two weeks or three weeks after that shit, like after I had researched this shit at the very beginning for a couple of hours and it mind blown me and I'm, I'm like it's straight and now I'm like my mind's feeling like like not nah, as can be. It goes against everything. I had to stop looking at YouTube videos. I had to just just completely leave the subject alone because it fucked up my mind. There was no rectifying it right away because there was no solid proven either fucking direction. It was just things that by their very nature describe a different world than the ones that we've been led to believe <clears throat> so when you if you got a line in the sand and you, and you got your evidence on one side and the evidence on the other but you have shit that on one side makes solid sense and not only that you got shit that is on that opposing side that better explains your side and the problem with that side? How can you not stop and take pause and be like, well, now, I don't know about anybody else, but I'd rather know nothing at all than to know something false. You act upon the things in which you know. And so if the things in which you know are false, you are acting in ways that are incorrect without knowing it. But to know nothing at all, it's almost like you couldn't be held for uh, anything. It's, it's almost like your burden would be lighter. You're not, you're not having to think anything out or worry about anything. But that ain't the world that we live in. The world that we live in has been manipulated for a long time, and through that manipulation. You can goddamn well believe that those superior to us, those with money, who have had power, who have family, that their name has been in power or has been on the scene for a long time. These people operate by a different set of laws. They're looking at a bigger picture than what we look at. And they have the influence and power to not only determine how things work out in their world, but to influence them more so to work out in ways that are in their favor. Not for the betterment of us. To make everybody else around you as strong as you are would mean not only that you would have more opposition and more competition, but you would be outnumbered. You wanna know why people keep us stupid? Reverse what I just said. Why build an opponent that would naturally someday contest your reign? Better yet, if you want to look at a government, a, a different way, like if you want to put it in a different way to better understand why this shit would make sense of how you wouldn't want some people to know certain things, look at a government like a corporation and look at that government's population as if they were the consumers. Now, China, it has a population, so it's like a business and it has its consumers. France, same thing. Germany, same thing. Economic basis of that country, therefore, by that term alone, we are its consumers. It has the titty that we all suck on the panda pro we're wearing. Except the titty costs us. I'm not saying it shouldn't, because I believe we all gotta pay our way. But at the end of the day, the titty costs us. We're gonna have to get we're gonna have to suckle on one or another. But in our known world, there are but so many forms of competition especially when you're talking about on a country on a global scale not globe in the sense of circular in every direction round in the sense of a two-dimensional circle laying on a flat surface 
you've got major players of these countries. There's only so many countries in our known world. And that's who's at the goddamn game. Do you seriously think that any one of these countries is going to tell its economic base that corporations, consumers, that hey, there's a free titty out there that ain't going to cost you nothing. I mean, it's going to cost you, but whatever you put into it is what you can pull out of it. There's resources, there's land nobody's claimed, there's no deeds to anything yet. I mean, it's a free titty. Do you seriously think that any government is going to say that? And risk losing its economic base. It's like Best Buy telling all its customers when they came through the door that, hey, did you know that there was another store around the corner? I mean, you know, it's, it's a little ways away, but uh, nevertheless, if you can make it there, everything's free. Ain't gonna cost you anything. That's what Best Buy gonna tell its customers when they come through the door to buy shit from them that, that keep them in business, that pay their employees, that keep this machine running. No. When you see somebody that needs gas on the side of the road, and you pull over to help them, you tell them, hey, you know what? You just go ahead and take some gas out of my tank. No. Nobody is going to give up what they know they have control of or a necessity towards an inclination to have to keep using a, a machine that must consume fuel because it has to be on. You're not going to divert anybody or any attention anywhere else. Matter of fact, it's more in their favor to close the world off, to capsulate it, call the globe, say to everybody that there's nowhere else ever in your lifetime you can leave to go find. But look, be proud of where you're at. This government got you. We won't do you wrong. Pay attention to us. Because at the end of the day, it's impossible to think that it would be in the benefit of those in power to inform those with little or no power that resources exist that they could take advantage of that one day could possibly make them strong like a country and then become their opposition better yet if somebody did know that there was something out there the last thing they want anybody to do is go lame claim to it first they want to make sure that they built a, a wall of a misinformation or, or a screen that showed a different picture around everybody for as long as they possibly could so that they themselves could explore and lay claim to. That would ensure that they had the time to, to, to mount those expeditions and to carry them out and to get the information back and to know what to do the next time. Almost as if they pushed pause on the human race as a society that needed to grow and gain knowledge to transcend itself. They've been pausing us. They have encapsulated us. And it's called a globe. I used to collect globes. Love the globe. I'll still go spin it. I still have some. Not throwing them away. But I got news for you. What you think this world is, is what they want you to think. If you can answer why would somebody want me to think that, if you can play that thought process out from a perspective of power and known ownership or known influence, it makes perfect sense. This is how you do it. The reason why you don't understand is because they learned to do it really fucking good. They did it so goddamn well that you still don't believe it. It's crazy. I know. Get some rest. Bring the subject back up a little bit later.
do a little bit more research. I have a trailer coming out. It's further proofs on the Russian dude that made the video No Forest on Flat Earth. What was crazy about that one when I bit a hold of it was the fact that nobody else has found what I found as far as substantiating the evidence behind what he was saying. I'll have this video finished and ready for release probably in about a week. This shit is really crazy. Because I have government documents from still where you can go and find them that spell out and explain exactly why none of this shit ever made it into our textbooks. Be careful of what you believe if you yourself cannot prove it for yourself. Period. There's no way that you that you by yourself can, you, you would be better keeping an open mind than to form any conclusion that is solid based that got you standing on one side and up against opposition of another. Open your mind a little bit. It ain't easy. But if you're happy in the world as you know it, don't even look at the flat earth topic. Ever. Don't comment on it. Just leave it alone and live in your world. Meanwhile, we'll be out here trying to figure out how shit really is. And one day, we'll let you know. This is Velocity Philosophy. This will be the first of many. I'm cool as hell. I don't mind debating. We can all be friendly. But if you brandish your teeth at me, it will result in you bleeding. For those of y'all that want to keep a smile, respectful. It's been a pleasure and I look forward to talking to you again.